Ahoy friends, welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and uh, this week we're going to be, uh, or this video we're going to be uh, finishing up beveling that uh, garbage plank and maybe get the other plank up on the bench. Anyway, let's get out into the shop and get to it. So here we are on the uh, stern bevel, and this one's going to be a little going to be a little bit tricky to cut because we're in underneath the uh, the uh, loft for one. And uh, I put up this handy uh, little fastener cupboard a while ago, not a not thinking about doing uh, planking quite this long. <laughs> Thumbs the brakes when you're building an alpha dory, I guess. See him a little ways away from the uh, from the uh, plant. I could probably bring it in here and uh, put it under this beam here. This one's a little bit worse for wear. You can see some of the uh, some of the um, probably carpenter ants over the years got into it. This will help a little bit. I get enough height here to lay up on you. Maybe keep it from moving a little bit anyway. thing we're doing this uh, week is getting the other, the other door getting the other door ready to head up to uh, Brooklyn, Maine for uh, one of these small reach regattas. It's actually uh, supposedly the last one they're having, so but uh, yeah, what it is, if you haven't, haven't been before, is uh, 70 to 80 uh, small, small boats out there on the reach, all kind of doing their own thing all at once. Some of them are rowing, some of them are sailing, some of them are just sort of ooching along, depending on how much uh, wind there is. And, uh, yeah, it's quite an event. Started by the, uh, 
has up that wooden boat in the Penobscot Maritime Museum. I think I've been going for 20 years if memory serves. I've probably been to uh, 14 of them maybe, maybe 15. here. I'm just trying to get this to where, close to where it needs to be. Um, because I know that some of this board is going to be lost anyway because we made this plank uh, maybe six or eight inches longer than it needs to be. So I don't have to go crazy on the ends. I'm going to get close to where it's got to be. Four or five inches in, then I should be good. And if I have to, I can clean up the bubble a little bit once I put it on the boat and see how it see how it sits. It's actually it's actually not as bad, <laughs> you know. Under this. The other thing is I could just take this thing down for the, uh, for planking. That's probably what I'll end up doing. But. So I'm getting close to the uh, pencil line here. Like I said, the most important uh, most important part of cutting a nice tight rolling bubble. that the, uh, the bevel doesn't roll in this direction when you put a plane on any one piece of the bevel. You want it to be a flat cut across wherever you're at. And what the bevel does is it slow, it's a flat plane that slowly rolls in that direction. And while the uh, plywood isn't as easy to cut as the pine, the plywood is easier to see the uh, shape of the bevel you've got. Because each of those layers of ply kind of acts as a uh, top topographic line, you know, show you how deep you've gone. That's uh, quite close if it isn't if it isn't a final bevel right to the end. But you can see you can see there how it's how I've tapered it off. But the uh, the transom is going to come in about here, so you know I've got a full bevel right where the uh, transom is going to be. And uh, yeah, I just sort of know that just from experience and from a few measurements. Uh, you know, when I was putting the plank on there the first time, I could see that it was longer than it needed to be, so 
You know, I know that I don't have to bring that all the way out, but yeah. All right, so there's a uh, there's a garbled planking beveled on the bench.
it's looking pretty good along here. So a second uh oh, there was yeah. Yeah, not that actually there's a little bit of a wiggle in the uh plank or something like that. A little wiggle in the uh, circular saw I cut on the plank. I was looking to take out but Anyway, yeah, not bad. Second, uh, second plank beveled on the bench. So you can tell it's not a terribly uh, time intensive process. You know, if you're set up in a shop where you've got somebody cutting out planks and putting them on the bench and somebody else is beveling them, you could go through these things pretty quick. But, uh, especially if it wasn't an alpha door, you know, if you had a couple hundred less feet of plank to bevel on a smaller boat, you could, you know, really bang it together pretty, uh, pretty easily in the course of a uh, couple weeks. Alright guys, well thanks so much for uh, stopping by and uh, enjoying the video, and we'll see you uh, in the next uh, video. Anyway, uh, yeah, God bless, and, uh, and we'll see you again.